now uh, to talk about some of this is former uh, KGB agent Jack Barsky. Uh, he's the author of the book, Deep Undercover, My Secret Life and Tangled Allegiances as a KGB Spy uh, in America. He's also the executive producer of The Agent, streaming now on major audio platforms. Uh, Jack, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, as you know, Putin is facing right. worldwide uh, scrutiny for this unprovoked war. Um, do you think he's still the, the KGB agent that he was so many years ago? He's relying on that training, relying on those those mind games that KGB agents play uh, at this very moment. I have to disabuse you of the notion that uh, the man he is today uh, was trained by the KGB and he got his, mm. his, his political skills and whatever he uses from the KGB. He was a mid-level bureaucrat in the, in, in the KGB. He served in the city of Dresden in, uh, in the 80s and I happened to have met uh, an ex-boss of his, uh, Oleg Kalugin, who, uh, uh, who was in charge of counterintelligence for uh, the first directorate which, uh, of the KGB, which was espionage. And he will tell you that he was not impressed with uh, Mr. Putin. Putin is a phenomenal politician and, and a master chess player because he's, he, uh, you know, he has been in power for the last uh, that 22 years in a country where the standard of living hasn't much improved, particularly outside of the big cities. So uh, uh, how he got to who he is today is probably not that relevant, but uh, let's not think that KGB agents are supermen. I am not, and I was one of the best trained KGB agents uh, ever sent out. <laughs> Well, that leads me to uh, my next question, which is uh, uh, Putin is not invincible. Um, I, you know, we spoke with the uh, former CIA chief of Russia operations yesterday, and he told me that uh, Putin, uh, what Putin really fears is not the oligarchs or the Russian people turning on him. Uh, it's his fellow spies, uh, people in his yes. national security realm around him, uh, intelligence yes. realm around him. What do you think about that? And uh, that was Dan Hoffman, I believe. Did, did you talk to Dan Hoffman? Uh, Steve Hall CIA made chief that and... observation, but I think others oh, have made the same observation. Observation. But, but Dan Hoffman was also uh, head of CIA, and I've, I've heard him, and he says the same thing, and they're absolutely right. Putin has a complete disregard of what his, his, uh, his, his people are thinking and doing. He, uh, he, he, he knows that he can keep them under control as long as he also has... The, uh, the power players in his regime under control, because if he doesn't, you know, he's, he's toast. There will be a palace revolt and, and he's done. So he, he, and he has to really walk a fine line uh, because he put himself into a situation now that it is very difficult for him to get out of. Uh, if he thinks he can occupy Ukraine uh, and, and declare victory, he's wrong because, uh, I've heard other people say that, but I said it uh, right when this thing started. Um, uh, Ukraine will be defeated. You cannot, you cannot defeat a country when you fight the entire population. We lost Vietnam. We lost uh, Afghanistan. The Soviets lost Afghanistan. So this would be a, a very prolonged, very bloody uh, uh, part partisan uh, kind of fight where uh, too many... Uh, you know, Russian soldiers would be killed and, and come home, and eventually uh, uh, Putin's legacy would be kaput, and uh, he, he would be deposed. So the the choice that he may have still is to uh, find this off-ramp where he can declare victory and get out and get some concessions from, from the Ukrainian government, but that's not entirely dependent on him. So he has he put himself into a, a really tight situation. And, you know, there have been a lot of questions about his mindset uh, these days. Uh, he's been isolated because of COVID, or at least that's the, the, the reporting that comes out about how Putin has been behaving during the pandemic. But you see these bizarre photo ops, the long tables, uh, dozens of feet for, uh, away from anybody. You know, I, I've been describing it as Putin in Wonderland. Um, I mean, what, what do you think about his mindset at this point? Is he living in sort of an upside down world, uh, a reality of his own making? Well, <clears throat> um, a dictator like Vladimir Putin or 
Ad Adolf Hitler, I'm not saying they're the same, but you know, anybody who is uh, completely in charge of a whole country must totally believe in himself, all right? And uh, you know, there have been other bizarre photos in the history of uh, Putin as a, as a president, that half-naked picture on a horse, or when he plays ice hockey against the Soviet national team. All of this uh, indicates that he, he, he has no he has no uh, uh, little man in his head that, that checks on him occasionally. So uh, he believes in himself, period. And if you think, and I've, I've met people like that in corporate America, if you think you're always the smartest person in the room, uh, you set yourself up for failure. And I think he, he is at that point. He may well have disregarded intelligence uh, uh, and that he's now blaming the... Uh, uh, a couple of guys uh, from from the FSB uh, the, uh, for bad intelligence. I don't believe that. Uh, I don't. I don't believe that they didn't know how Ukraine and the Ukrainian people would would act. He probably ignored it because he knows better. All right, Jack uh, Barsky. Thank you very much for those insights. We appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome.